guys, Lawson here. It is a beautiful but windy and cold day. I'm joined by my beautiful, wonderful, lovely wife, Chelsea. And uh, we're seeing if we can get on some snook and jack and tarpon and reds or whatever. We're creeping our way back into a canal here because when it's colder, I find a lot of fish bunkered up in canal. So we're gonna see if we can sight cast some fish or maybe just blind cast them out from the docks. Also, today's video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. If you don't know what Carl's is, online retailer that's got all your fish and tackle that you need. You'll leave a link down below for any of the gear I'm using today. And you can go down and join Carl's Club and get a bunch of really good deals. It's seriously where I get 95% of my tackle now. So go down, check that out, and we're gonna get fishing. All right, we're gonna work a jerk bait in these canals here. Gotta be a fish on this one. Oh, there he is. Nice, called that one too. Right in the shadow line of that dock piling. What is this? I don't even, I don't even know what that. I can't tell if it's the kudo or if it's the snook. Oh, that worked out like it was supposed to, which I feel like is a rarity. This thing is hoofing. Oh man. Oh, what do we got? I'm really not sure what this is. Oh, this is a nice snook. All right. Right where he's supposed to be. I've been seeing some snook blow up on glass minnows in the shadows of all these docks. And as we've been fishing these docks, there's just glass minnows everywhere. And I was put on a small twitch bait really not even that small, like a three inch twitch bait. There's something that would kind of fit the bill, but maybe even draw out a bigger fish. And that's kind of what we're into. The snook grew with size. I thought he was a lot smaller than he is. He's not a huge one, but he's a great fish. Beautiful golden yellow little snook right there. So perfect. If you ever wonder when you catch fish that sometimes are a lot more yellow or a lot more silver, they get really yellow fins, snook and jack do when they've been spending a lot of time in tannic water. Let's go release him. So a lot of times when you catch a fish and he's really silver, that means he's either come recently like out of an inlet or out of the beach or just living in a place that has really clear water. And then when they have those yellow fins, it means they've been living in the river. It's really cool just to see like a really pretty fish like that who was kind of really silver but had really yellow fins like the perfect looking fish okay first fish down let's see if we can start upgrading size that wasn't a bad snook he's probably like 24 25 inches solid fish but let's see if we can get bigger oh there's gotta be another fish right here i'm hoping not hooked up yet i thought this oh there he is called it called it oh i popped him off Dang, dude, that's two times in a row that I've been able to call it. When getting a long parallel cast to the dock along a good shadow line like that, it's been like money. Dang, dang, dang. That fish didn't feel quite as big, but, whew, son of a gun. Figuring out a pattern for sure, which is like super nice. Makes life 10 jillion times easier. Shadow lines, moving baits. fish right off that dude this shadow lines have been crushing it i have no idea if this fish is big or not he's holding down no not a big fish but dude they've just been chilling oh, out of here buddy they've been chilling in the shadow lines it's not a bad fish oh my god <laughs> They're wrecking this like little bass tackle. This is like my bass jerk bait rod, basically. A little even small in the last one, but uh, we're getting on them pretty good, man. Snook number two right there. Third one we poked this morning. He's probably, or this afternoon, he's probably about 18 inches. A little small in the last one, but he was going hard. Pretty, pretty funny. 
So we were literally we were just passing a uh, two two different subscribers down the dock line, funny enough, at two different houses there, and one of them was filleting a slot size snook, and it seems like there's snook to be caught today, even with it being a little cold and windy. The water temp hasn't quite chilled down yet. Like the water temp's like 72, 73. So still prime conditions for catching fish. And we're starting to figure it out, which is nice. I am probably going to re-tie this leader. That guy got around that dock piling a little bit and roughed me up. And I just want to be double safe. If we uh, hook into a big fish, I'd be real mad because we're too lazy to change out a leader. I'll tell you, man. If we've been able to get a cast like along a decent amount of shadow line, every single time I've been hooked into a fish. It's really cool when like you find a pattern quickly and it just keeps working and working. So we're gonna try to hammer this away and see if we can hook into a bigger fish. I'm like half considering upgrading my tackle size right now in case we hook into a 30 or more. Because the fish that we've caught have been like really fun on this tackle but anything bigger will definitely have a little bit of work cut out for us but we'll see another great shadow line right here too let's get it here we go here we go no not here we go <laughs> on the coffee table that's awesome. That is hilarious. Uh, oh, there it is. You're welcome. <laughs> wow, that fish must have came off that wall there. Chelsea was just showing me a photo of a dog, <laughs> and uh, Snook came out and clobbered it. Tell you what, we're kind of feeling like we're on to something here. Dude, this guy's awfully jumpy Whoo windy day ain't no mind catching some fish still they're kind of like on a weird post frontal bite you know like it shouldn't be that good but the real cold weather hasn't really hit yet and I don't think these fish have kind of figured it out and I think they're kind of like okay it's cold we should chow down and uh get fat before it gets too cold because snook do not like the cold wow he choked that bait right there awesome beautiful snook number three of the day and uh, we're on our way unfortunately they seem to be getting smaller he's about the same exact size as that last one we caught but i'm hoping we'll find a big one Ooh, okay. He was getting ready to flex and easier just to put him in than let him flop around the boat and let him get hurt and beat up, you know what I mean? All right, one of these fish needs to turn to about a 35 inch snook and then we'll be on our way. That was a bomb. Oh, there's another one. Gosh, man, we are crushing some little snook, man. That is insane. It's, we're on a good bite. I'm just hoping one of these turns into a big fish here. And I'm also kind of partially hoping this fish just comes off. <laughs> I know that's a bad thing to say, but he's not too big. All right, here's the dealio. 360 jig head, biospawn extra swim, both of which are off shop Carl's. You can find down below. We're gonna roll this around the docks at like a kind of slow speed. I'm bummed out that my twitch bait that I was crushing all the fish on just kind of like died on me. But uh, we should be able to catch some fish on some swim baits. We're gonna try to throw this around for a little bit and just like see if we can whack a fish on the swim bait set up like this and then move on to something maybe a bit bigger if we have the time and see if we can double into a uh, bigger fish throwing a bigger swim bait. There's the fish. On the swim bait. Oh. What the heck am I hooked into? Oh, barracuda. That makes sense. The old river cooter.
let's uh, go down swinging. Big top water, meat stick rod. Let's see if we can find a big snook or a big jack. Good day. We didn't crush any giant fish, but we got on a solid like jerk bait, twitch bait bite for about an hour and a half, two hours, and managed to catch five just medium-sized snook. You know, a few of them if they would have had another inch and a half, two inches on them, they would have been good fish, like close to slot, just under it. Honestly, can't complain. Winter time fishing isn't always easy. So it's nice when you come out, and it kinda is. First fish of the night, a squeaky one. So, talk about some some service. My wife just dropped off food for me at the bridge. I didn't even ask. She just we happen to have like share my location on, so we just like can know where each other are, you know, for safety stuff. And she walked up to the bridge with a bowl of pan a pasta. How sweet is that? I just caught that freaking crab by hand. I saw him paddling on top of the water and I was afraid it was a bat. And I wanted to go save the bat from drowning, but just a blue crab. 